Wow. The fields looks green right now. But a couple of weeks ago, we, uh, we haven't got the rainy season yet. Everything was brown and dry. So, um, again, um, CFO, CFA 44 Nosferatu, scratch built design, designed it myself uh, from scratch. It may be the first uh, CFA 44, according to my uh, friend Dan from US. And uh, I would like to thank my colleague Ian Bott from UK, uh, who has been supporting me uh, with this project. Okay, moment of truth. CFA 44 Nosferatu. It's very stable uh, from my first impression. Let's kick throttle up. Okay, as you can see the uh, flat is reducing its top speed so it's no longer speed either. Okay, um, I'm feeling that it's being affected by top roll. I'm gonna trim it a bit. Gonna have a low pass. Very nice. Yeah, I think since the wing is a bit is a bit smaller than the uh, XL. Um, it's affected by top roll, but so far it's very, very stable. So I'm gonna do loop. Oh, it's a flip, not a loop. Okay. Probably because of um, the um, high throw for the. Alavons. It is very, I mean, it is very, very stable. And even though at very low throttle, let's say 30%. It's still gaining uh, good 
speed. So it's 30% at the moment. I'm going to add to 50. I'm going to do another low pass just to see it. Let's find out about the roll rate. It's good. It's good. It's quite good. Okay. Let's try another roll rate. It's not suffering from uh, nose down when uh, doing the turn. It might probably because of the uh, flats. I'm going to do another low pass. And this time a bit slower. Oh, it's good, it's good. It's very stable. Um, very good performance. So I'm going to keep it at 50% throttle. It's a bit difficult seeing this paint scheme um, because of the cloudy sky. Um, when the battery is out, I'll bring it down and then uh, try to compensate the top roll with uh, some aileron settings. So it's gliding now. Very good gliding performance. Our immediate response when the throttle is kicked up. Um, I feel that it's when the throttle is uh, uh, around 50% and higher, it flies very good. It flies uh, straight line, but if it's actually under 40%, I can feel a nose heavy symptom. Maybe it's because of the um, smaller wing area compared to the F-16XL. But I'm, I'm quite, not quite, I'm very, very satisfied with the results. It's 
since it's um, it was designed very quickly within just about 30 minutes and um, all of us couldn't somehow believe it ourselves so I'm going to bring it up bring it up okay that's the first alarm um, it reaches maybe around 10 or less than 10 I couldn't remember I might just bring it down now Whoa, it doesn't want to land. Oh. I'm very satisfied with the results of the CFA44. Um, Ian, thanks for supporting me with this project. Um, I couldn't somehow make it without your support. Um, again. CFA 44 Nosferatu Scratch built design Okay Thanks for watching